Hi, my name is Justin Conway. Today I'm going to show you how to use object linking and embedding for Excel, OLE objects. Um, first, I'm going to explain a little bit about that. So, um, linking is when you're taking a piece of information from one document and literally keeping that link, uh, but placing that information on another document. Uh, when you're working in that other document, if you want to edit that information, it refers back to the original. So that information is linked. There's still that that uh, you know that mode of um, contact between each other. Um, embedding is when you just copy information from one area and put it into another area so that that information is now embedded into the new document. Um, so there is no link existing between the two. So now that we've uh, covered that, I'm going to show you the different ways to do that. Um, open on my screen, I have a Microsoft Excel document and a Word document with data in it. Um, the methods that I'm going to cover work uh, in both directions. So you can perform the same functions that I'm about to show you in Excel or in Microsoft Word to create the links or the embedding. So let's start with Excel and we'll select a cell where we want some information to be housed uh, and we're going to take that from our Word document. The first thing that I'll cover the most simple is embedding. If I want, let's say in my Word document I have this uh, table here. Let's select the first one. Let's say I want this table to go uh, into my Excel document and to be embedded there. Simply copy it, um, Command C on a Mac, Control C on Windows machine. And uh, when you select in your cell, hit paste. And now you can see that the information actually lives in your uh, Excel document and you can edit the information from this area. Uh, the other method um, is linking. What you would do is go to insert, and you can also do this for um, embedding. I'll show you the options. And you go to Object, and from File. And you can do Link to File. So we're going to click that link. And what that will do is when you select the, uh, the Word document, it's going to take the information from that Word document. And again, it's going to link back to that Word document so that when you edit that information, as you can see, it populated that information here in the Excel document. Um, and if you double click on it, it brings you to the Word document to make your edits. So that is how to use OLE objects in Microsoft Excel. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Justin Conway, and thanks.